Hey guys, in this indie game devlog I want to show you what I'm currently working on. Here's the demo scene of the Unity Low Poly Game Kit with a new house model for which you can open the door, I created an open door animation for it. The roof is now a separate game object that can be hidden dynamically. So when the player is entering the house, the roof is hidden and you can see the interior. Let's start the game and as you can see the roof is hidden when the player is near the house and he can open the door and enter it. What I have to change is that the pickup animation is played for opening the door but I will create a different one. You can also adjust the camera pitch now when you move the mouse in vertical direction. A nice feature for top down games. The house with the interior is available as prefab that you can just use out of the box so no coding is required. Just drag it into the scene and use it. Ok, let's have a look at the scripts of the house model, they are very simple. The door class derives from the game kit class interactable item base. We can override the method on interact, that is called when the player presses the F key. Then the door is opened and the box collider for this door is removed so that the player can enter the house. And here's the script for hiding the roof, on trigger enter the roof is set to inactive and on trigger exit it is set to active again. What is missing here, I will have to check if the collider is the player. The next thing I added is the new NPC that I used to test conversations, a new and larger dialogue and conversation feature called you talk, perhaps I will publish this as an own asset, we will see. The main component of this is a conversation manager that has a conversation database. Let me move the player over here to demonstrate this. When the player enters a so-called conversation trigger of the NPC, a conversation starts. Here the NPC says something, then the player can react with these buttons. And in this example we have two choices and depending on which one I choose, I get a different answer from the NPC. As I said, these conversations can be defined in a database, here's an example. Each database contains actors and conversations. Currently I'm working on a node based editor, so that you can define these conversations in a comfortable way. A database can be created when you select create you talk database. This is an asset and of course the content will be saved. To start a conversation with an actor you can either use the API of the conversation manager or you just add a conversation trigger script to the NPC and set the name of the conversation that you want to start. In this case the conversation is called red guy talk and when the player is entering this conversation trigger the conversation will be started. The UI for the conversations is also a prefab that you can customize as you like. What you need is an image for the player and the NPC a label for the actor that talks and a response panel with buttons. These UI components you add to the conversation manager and you're done. You can also define which objects should be hidden when the conversation starts. I'm hiding the inventory panel and when the conversation ends it will be displayed again. Here it is started and then the inventory panel is hidden. I have a long to do list for these assets but take the opportunity and add your wishes to the comments below, I will try to take them into account. If you want to support the development of my assets please think about being my patron that would be just awesome. Thank you guys for watching and supporting me, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.